Your patient is a 17 year old male who's involved in a major tackle, a major hit in a football game while you are the ambulance on standby. You approach the patient. What are your first assessments? What are your first findings? What do you suspect? Let's talk about it. During a football standby, a concussion or any sporting events, a concussion is very, very common in sport. Also can occur obviously in falls, assaults, motor vehicle accidents. Concussion occurs by getting struck or obviously the head or face being struck by an object. It could be falling, but it's a blow to the face or head. This is a temporary functional change in the brain, meaning if your brain is working at full capacity, the concussion temporarily, the functions of your brain are not up to normal baseline, right? That's what a concussion is. So we're gonna grade concussions based upon a few things. Did you actually lose consciousness? And how long it takes you to get back to your normal baseline for you? There are three grades to do with concussion. The focus is on a loss of consciousness. So with grade one, which is the most mild concussion, we have, they will be confused, altered mental, but there's no loss of consciousness. And within, meaning under, 15 minutes, they return back to their normal baseline. In a little bit, I'm gonna talk about the hallmark sign symptoms of concussion. Now, grade two, they're gonna be confused, but there's no LC, but it's been over 15 minutes and they're still not back to normal baseline. Grade three is anything that has a positive loss of consciousness. That's the worst concussion. If they actually had a loss of consciousness, grade three. Now, right here are our hallmark sign symptoms of concussion you want to look for. So as we approach the patient, these are our key findings. They may be combative, nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, some other one, key terms here, like photophobia. They don't want to want to see in light. The light bothers their eyes. That's photophobia, right? Now, retrograde amnesia, meaning they do not recall what has happened prior to the concussion event. So these are our signs and symptoms, meaning when we talk about getting the patient back to normal, when does their amnesia confusion, when does their altered mental status subside? That's what we're looking for. When do they turn back to their baseline? What time is it? We'll then grade it. And if they went unresponsive, we know they're a grade three. Now, what do we do as EMS to help this concussion patient? Well, the first thing is obviously treat their symptoms, right? So we talked about some symptoms, help them with their nausea, vomiting, uh, photophobia, stuff like that. We don't need to Blare the lights on them, right? So keep them calm, get them relaxed, get your vital signs, and obviously transport to the hospital. Now, we wanna have a high index of suspicion that it could be more critical. We wanna always assume the worst case scenario in medicine until proven otherwise, which is why, especially if they have a, a worsening grade, we wanna transport to the hospital to actually get a CT scan. Right now, here's the key with concussions, and you've probably seen this in sport and athletes is if they're getting constant, severe, or a history of multiple concussions, this can lead to dementia and or progressively brain deterioration over time or the function of the brain. First link in the description down below is what I give to all my students with lifetime access. It's my video vault. It includes videos, quizzes, and also access to our private student group to ask me questions while you are getting ready for your exam. If you're getting ready for school, if you're in school right now or getting ready for NREMT, this is where I send everyone. Now you're gonna see a video appear on the screen right now. It will help you go even farther in EMS.